Jesus. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 17 and reads, As for us, our eyes as yet fail for our vain help. In our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. First and foremost, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Noble honors our apostle, Elsa Great Millstone, teach us this truth of the Bible and the well. And those are the brothers from the GMS North Carolina camp. All right, formerly known North, North, North Carolina 24, GMS North Carolina 777. All right, um, back when I left through the Spirit of Yah, Bashim Yahweh Shai, the words that's edifying. And it's just on, you know, uh, uh, trust in the Lord, man. We've come to realization, us in the know, all right, that what this man cannot save us, was never meant to save us, was never built to deliver us. All right, and we're going to bring out some scriptures, and then the Lord wants less is edifying. Lamentations chapter 4, verse 7. Because you got um, voting season coming up. Yep. So our people are voting, no saying they either vote for Trump, they either vote for Biden, or they vote for whoever that they think can get them out of this situation, this yep. predicament that we're in, poverty, um, um, rent increasing, uh, hyperinflation. If they going to these heathens, it's going to actually get them out of the situation that's befalling everybody on the face of the earth. The scripture says it's all vain. It's all vain. We're not trusting in this devil to supply our needs. Got it. You made a good point. Uh, you're making a great point because our people see Esau and other nations with the power. They have power. Right. But they don't see the power behind that power. Who's right. Who's out that power? Yep. That's who we need to go to. Right. right. That source. That source is right. It's all an illusion. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's mm -hmm. basically witchcraft being performed on our people to have right. them believe in, in a system, a lying system, a corrupt system. That's witchcraft right there when you believe in somebody that's corrupt mm -hmm. and you're putting your trust in something that's, that's been set up upon lies. You, you're actually trusting in a thief yep. to bring peace to your life. We get it again though. Mm -hmm. Lamentations, chapter four. And this is, look, Lamentations, which means to mourn. Mm -hmm. Lamentations, chapter four, verse 17. As for us, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, Right, the the uh, the the sheep who are, who are always going to the, the enemy, you know, instead of going to the source, right? You got it. As for us, our eyes as yet fell for our vain help. That empty promise, reparations, forty acres and a mule. What what happened? Look at the track record of this devil. Constant lying child people telling them that we're gonna get all these different things to get that vote, and then our people sit and wait for it and never come. Barack Obama. You know, empty promises, man. Fucking Bill Clinton, mm -hmm. Hillary Clinton, Biden, Biden. You know, <laughs> Jesse Jackson, because uh -huh. they represent yeah. sleazy. Yep. It's all vain. The people, even the people that look like us, that they set up, that's vain. Yep. As for us, our eyes, because we in hell and we always looking for a savior. Uh -huh. We've been looking for a savior for a long time. Well, well, we got one. Yeah, right. We know who it is now, but our people still hoping in this devil to be their savior. Yeah, yeah bro. I, I, land back on what you just said, Micah 3 goes into that. Micah 3 and 11, I believe it is. That they, they, the, the, that our people, that are these, these puppets, they're, they're only in it for the, for the game, for the, right. for the bread. They don't care about the flock. Yeah. The Lord said the hell was vain. In mm -hmm. our watching, we're looking for somebody to save us, to get us out of this hell hole that we're in, right? The poverty-stricken neighborhoods, the, um, the dead-end jobs, mm -hmm. uh, you know, peace. We're looking for we're looking for a man to actually bring us these things. Right. A man that's vain, the enemy. Right. It says in our watching, we have watched for a nation that could not save us. And a nation that wasn't like the brothers wanted to, wasn't designed to save us. A nation that was actually set up to be our adversary. All this land was was the, the natives was here first. Our people was here. This man gonna give you back the land and help you get some money in your pocket to come up against him. This man wasn't designed to help you. He's designed to go against you. He's your enemy. He's and he saw the so-called white man, woman, and child. When you read Psalm the eighty-third chapter, he's the first enemy listed. He's ruling these times. And these other nations, they're not gonna save us. There's only one true savior, and that's Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus. That's right. But that don't sound sexy to our people. That don't sound interesting to our people. If I may say, you made a great point. Uh, the Lord, you know, Matthew 1 and 21, 
that he shall save his people. Right. Yep. We're being saved from what? Sin. Yep. Esau wants to have lure you to, to continue sinning. Right. right. To detach you further and further away from your how about you know what's child, man? No. Yeah, because as long as you sin, you die. You know what I'm yep. saying? You know, this this devil don't want us to live forever. This devil do not want life to be peaceful for us. Right. This devil don't want us to live in comfortable neighborhoods. But that's who you go to, though. You vote in them. Tell some um, ninjas for Trump. <laughs> Different wing, same bird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, right. We don't trust. We don't trust in vain help. Somebody can get on. Um, well, uh, Raw, I guess you can get on. Um, Curses the man that trusteth in man. Um, I got um, another one for y'all. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I got two. Good. Proverbs chapter three, verse five. Trust in the Lord. Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, who they even call Jesus with all thine heart. Yeah, you put your confidence, that firm belief in, in the Lord. And and people say, Well, how you do that? Jeremiah 3 and 15, the Lord set up teachers to show you, to, 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 to teach you how to trust in the Lord. It's gonna come things, events that the Lord's gonna put you in to make you trust in him more. You may lose a job. But what? We're telling you that the Lord if you put your trust in him. Right and, and like, like you know, like to say, give all your problems to the Lord, right? But trust in Him, and He'll put you in a better position. Just name an example. I'm not just going to land back because man, they'll say, can tell you that He's going to do something, but man can't promise you that though. He can tell you. That's like a man can't make an oath. Right. You know what I'm saying because if he right. do, he's not going to be able to keep it. Right. Cause you can say you're gonna do something for somebody, but you might not end up doing it. The Lord, when He said He's gonna do something, He's gonna do it. You know what nice, I'm saying? Nice. That's how we create. That's why we trust in Him and not nobody else. Cause people can tell you they're gonna do something, but they never do it. What these devils been telling us? I'm gonna make life better for you. Right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna um, bring down crime. You know, I'm gonna create better jobs. Lying the whole damn time. Nice. I'm gonna create better foods. I'm gonna make life cheaper and more affordable. All lies, man. Yep. That's why we trust in the Lord. We don't trust in this devil. Look up with all thine heart, all your mind. Put it towards trusting in the Lord. Mm -hmm. Hater number one. Right? All right. Look at Sleazy. Sleazy, he's living his best life. <laughs> We're not living our Hair best life. Wind. He's living us. <laughs> Hair blowing in the wind. In the wind. <laughs> They're living their best life, not us. Right. That's why we got to trust in the Lord. Done. Oh yeah, this devil knows. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make life better for you. Only, only thing you need to do is take this concoction, right? And it'll make your life a whole lot better. Do it for humanity. You got right. it, bro. If I could add to, you say he living his best life, and he don't want to stop living his best life. Right. That's why it, it, it makes sense for him to not want to help us out. Right. Now, you know, the, the ancient Egyptians. Um, the reason why they started going against Israel because they see we're growing in numbers. Right. And, and they had a ruling class mentality. Like if, if they grow against, they gonna come against us. Right. So they know we're, we're not the same people. Right. They, you know, it behooves them to, to continue to go against us so we don't come up, up, up against them. But they can't stop what's about to happen, which right. is us ruling. Because, you know, we go far and beyond, you no know, so we always going to surpass these devils. Give us a chance, you no know, saying? Give us fucking lemons and we're going to create lemonade. Right. You see? And this devil's like, nah, I'm not going to give them the lemons because they're going to create lemonade. Right. I'm not going to give them That's shit. True. I'm going to keep on pressing them, and I'm going to have them thinking that I'm doing the best thing for them. Right. So we're not, we're not leaning into our own understanding. And lean not into thine own understanding. That's right. Yeah, lean not into thy own understanding. Because in that same chapter in Jeremiah 17, it says, The heart is deceitful and desperately wicked. But know it, that mind's going to have you going off. Once again, that's why we have the, the, the instructions. We have the Bible. Romans 15 and 4, things are written for times, written for our learning. learning. Right. You got a rock that you say you uh, Yep, I got yep. three. I got the one you called for. <laughs> Jeremiah 17 and 5. Thus said the Lord, Yahweh by Shem Shai, Cursed be the man that trusteth in man and maketh flesh his arm, and whose heart departed from the Lord. Yeah, who maketh flesh his strength. He's making he's making man, he's so evil, that's what's in power right now. His strength, man. That's so that's who he's gonna trust. That's who he's gonna uh 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 you know Lean on. Lean on. Yep. You know? Yep. And I want to get this word flesh right quick. Just curious to know. It says mankind. You know? There's nothing. Mankind. Yeah. You know. right? It's known for lying. Yeah. That goes off. <clears throat> Why are we going to trust in this man like that, man? Right. 
a, a man is actually craving food that harms us. You gonna trust in him? If he's craving food that harms you, of course he's gonna create policies that's gonna harm you. Right. This man is not for us. We trusted in the Lord. Can't keep going to a nation that was set up to not help us, right. thinking that they're gonna help us. That's that's madness right there. That's a madman. I got some in the free country, uh, brothers. Uh, I got a couple of them. Um, let me get Psalm uh, 40 and 4 is what I'm about to bring out. Psalm 40 and 4 says, Blessed is that man that maketh the Lord his trust, mm. and respecteth not the proud, nor such as turn aside to lies. <laughs> but no respect of the, the proud. Who's the proud? Eat him. Facts. This man is on his high horse. But that's why people uh, 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 praise and Stall to the clouds, man. Mm -hmm. Yep. And it says, "Turn away, turn aside the lies." You don't, you don't feed in those lies. It's, it's obvious this man is a damn liar. Nothing that he says adds up. Right. What, what did Obama say? Hope. And he kept saying hope. And then what did he do? He got in there. He, he held out those alphabet people. Right. And didn't, didn't even bat an eye towards the, the Israelites. You know. But the scriptures say, um, "All of those who call evil good and good evil." When you tell, when, when Jake come up to you and ask you if you register to vote, you say, no, nah, I'm not, I'm good. I, I'm not voting. They look at you like you crazy. Right. Like trusting in the Lord is a bad thing. Right. And, and not trusting in somebody who has been a, a track record, a hundred percent track record of, of let, uh, um, you know, breaking their promise. Right. Undefeated on breaking their promise. Why the hell would I vote? You got to have, um, what's that word called? Well, you um, insane. Yeah. You keep doing something and, and the same results coming out of it. Yeah. Expecting different results. They expecting different results out of it. Basically psychotic. Exactly. Insane in the membrane. <laughs> I got some just laying back enough what you just read. This is Psalms 10 and 4, and it reads, The wicked, through the pride of his countenance, will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not in all his thoughts. Right. So as the scripture tells us in Sirach 10, as the, as the judge saw the people, so this man ain't believing in the Lord, you know, saying, oh, we shall all do this and do that according to the scriptures. The people ain't going to do it. Right. 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 Not in all, in any of his right. in, his policies, his decrees are not set up to the scriptures, man. Right. Facts. It's all set up in wickedness. Yep. So why the hell these, these people don't believe the the, um, the elites and the people that work for them? They don't believe in Yahweh through His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. So you know most definitely that not gonna do anything good for you. Right. So that's who you trusting in, the we're trusting in the Lord. The Lord already put us on game. This man don't believe in me. He's not gonna do anything good for you, your woman, or your child. Everything he's doing is to further oppress you and harm you. This devil wants us out of here. Yep. He's not creating anything that's gonna do us any good. Everything this man creates, it doesn't benefit us, our body, our mind, or our spirits. You see? Hey. Just like a, a milk crate. A milk crate was created to carry milk. Right. The person who made it didn't say, oh, you can uh, put nails in it and make a basketball goal out of it. It wasn't <laughs> created for that. Man. Right. You know, you see that in the, in the hood, uh -huh. a milk crate up. Right. Nah, man. That's how Esau, Esau was not created to uh, 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 to send you. He was created to really, like the scripture says, Ezekiel 35, to forward the affliction. Yep. Oh yeah, the scriptures say um, you can't make something straight that was created to be crooked. Okay. This man was created to be the crook, the villain of the story. <laughs> he was created to be evil. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so this man ain't gonna do a, a, damn, a damn evil man. Don't you go into him to help solve your problems? He's evil. He's the wicked man. He's the devil according to the Bible. So you most anybody in their right mind is not gonna go to an evil person to make to and expect something good to come from that evil person. Yeah. You got it, bro. Uh, you want me to get at what you just quoted? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 7 and 13. Yep. Consider the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For who can make that straight which he have made crooked? And now we know that. We know according to the Bible that the people that's ruling the earth right about now are wicked. It was created to be the crooks. It was created to be the villains. It was created to be the bad guy in the movie. Yep. You don't go to the bad guy expecting him to bring peace to your life. Right. He's going to bring chaos, destruction, mayhem, confusion, 
And that's what our people are in right about now, the state of confusion, yeah. a strong delusion, yeah. thinking that this man is going, even though they see this man is putting pure hell on him, and has never done anything good for them, their grandparents, their great, 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 great grandparents. This man ain't never did nothing good for us. And our people go to this man for the trust yeah. and for the love. Right. Yes. Man, if I can read it, if Got I can it. say it says, consider the work. You gotta know Yahweh by Shem Yahweh The Lord controls good and evil. When he had that uh, council with Job, Satan was there. Not not just the, the uh, other angels, but Satan was there too. Right. The Lord controls both sides. You gotta consider the work. He has a balance, hot and cold, up and down, left right. and right. You know? So he saw the physical counterpart to the spiritual demon Satan, which means that we're supposed to be a righteous people. And it's always going to be adversity between Jacob and Esau. Right. Consider the work of how the Lord works, man. But you want me to jump down to verse 7? Yeah, Brother Shah, you finished the Now we're just going to say something through the Spirit. We have came to the conclusion through the Spirit of your house by Shemel Shai that this is not our rest. Right. We're not depending on this dude to do anything good for us. We know this is the devil. Yeah. We're trusting in the Lord. Now we got to go to this man to get our daily bread and jobs and things of that nature. But we're not putting our stock in this man. We know he's a devil. We know he's going to slake us. We, we're expecting for this man to pull a fast one on us, man. Yep. And we're not going to be shocked when he does it. You see? Right. When he pulled the rug up on our feet, from up on our feet, we're expecting that to happen. Our people are expecting this man to, to do some good for him. Right. Through. You got it, bro. You want that Ecclesiastes 7 to 7? Yeah. Ecclesiastes 7 to 7. We'll bring up probably about three more. God. Surely oppression makes a wise man mad. And, you know, that's the, the, uh, the state that all of us should be in, especially having this wisdom, man. You know, when you come back to trust in the Lord and His ways, you say, look, I'm being oppressed, man. Yeah. Facts. Go ahead. And, and, and now all of us being oppressed. Yeah. Because, like, when, once you figure out that you're being oppressed, you're like, damn, my woman is being oppressed. Yep. My sons and my daughters are being oppressed. This devil's actually trying to make us take something that's, that's fucking harmful to us, man. He's trying to make it mandatory. And like, like we mentioned earlier through the spirit, and when you say no, this devil look at you crazy. Yep. Everybody looks at you crazy when you say no to the bullshit. Right. You got it, bro. Right. Ecclesiastes 7 and 7. Surely oppression make of a wise man mad, uh -huh. and a gift destroyeth the heart. And that's one of the reasons why a lot of our people trust in this man, because of the little gifts that he has given, whether it's yep. Section 8, whether it's some EBT cards, yep. SNAP benefits. A job. Yep. Yeah. Raise, yeah. But all that's coming to an end. This age is coming to an end. Second Ezra, the sixth chapter. Esau is the end of the world, but Jacob's beginning with their following, man. And we understand that. So what? We're not going to trust in this place that's going down. Trusting in a nation of people, not saying they won't set up to save us. So, if, so if they were set up not to save us. They were set up to do what? Harm us. Everything this man does is, is set up to harm us, man. Yeah. Man, to destroy Israel with this nonsense. This whole setup was set up to destroy us, man. You got it, bro. Uh, I, I got um, two, if that's okay. Yeah. Um, oh, we're going to bring out that, um, what was it, 2 Samuel? I think oh, yeah, you, yeah, 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 you finish your two. Uh, no, after you finish your two, we'll bring out that. Um, after you finish your two, I'll bring out one, then we'll bring out that 2 Samuel to uh, end it off. Uh, yeah. Isaiah 31 and 1. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help Damn. and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. There you go. Woe means destruction. What do what our people do? They trust in America and this man's system because they see the military might, they see the uh, the power of this devil. But who set this dude, who set this devil up? Right. Like the brother mentioned through the spirit, go to the source. The one right. that set this man up is the one who you need to be worshiping. And that's your Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And the Lord is telling you that through his men on the highways and byways, explaining how, how the Lord sets things up. You know what's going on with our people, they see the military, they see this man got nukes, right. they see he's in all the land doing whatever he's doing, not realizing he's gonna be taken down. Nope. That's it. Yeah, the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, just trust in Pharaoh, aka Egypt, should be their shame. Yep. Yeah. The Lord gonna put our people to shame for actually trusting in this devil, man. Right. These are the same Jakes that wanted to go back into Egypt yep. after the Lord destroyed Pharaoh and his army. So who was living better? Who was eating this and third? This man was destroying us, man. 
whooping the shit out of us, making a rigorous work, yep. hard labor. The Lord freed us, you know what I'm saying? I be wanting to go back into captivity. Right. So this time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're going to go back into captivity, all right? You know what I'm saying? The concentration camps. Right. You know? The Lord going to put hell on Jake for the last time for trusting in this devil, for trusting in a nation that won't set up to save or deliver them. Yeah, that's what a father does. Like you said, this last, this last sound, so it's going to be the worst thing when you get, uh, you know, uh, uh, spanking from a uh, whipping from your, from your dad. That last one, don't you do it again. Right. You know, that's what the Lord's getting ready to do. Matthew 24 and 21. Ready for it? Yeah, yeah. Isaiah 10 and 20 this is the one you call for, bro. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped with the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him that smote them. Yeah, who has smote us? Start off with the tabernacles of Edom and the other nations because they came and licked up the crumbs, you know, and helped forward oppressing uh, 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 Jacob and mm -hmm. destroying us as a people. The remnant, that small number, is going to come back and trust in the Lord. Man, That's right. Stay upon Esau's policies and um, laws. He, he, he says he's going to pass for you to, to help uh, 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 pull you from up out the slums, the ghettos, the right. bios, the revs that you're on. No, man. We're going to, it's all lies. Right. And the elect is going to come back to trust in the Lord. Say, look, man, it's bad for us. Right. You know, he speaks with a, a forked tongue still. Right. It says, but shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. In truth. Right. And the truth is his word. That's right. Come on, chime in. I said on that one. Yeah. I got one more that we'll bring out there on 2 Timothy. Did you have any more, bro? No. That was your two? This is Psalm chapter 18, verse 3. Just a quick little lesson through the Spirit, bro. Linked up through the Spirit of you have, Bush your mouth shy. Just going into who we need to trust and who we don't need to trust, you see? And the majority of our people got to learn the hard way. This is Psalms 18 and 3. I will call upon the Lord Yahweh, who was only begotten Son Yahweh Shai, who is worthy to be praised. So shall I be saved from mine enemies. Yeah, and, then, and that's why the name is very, very important. prongs that go inside the wall mm -hmm. that's the name right there yeah right. you know what i'm saying yeah you can't plug into the source without those prongs right <laughs> yeah you know yeah. i feel praising biden and um and, um fucking trump right you know what i'm saying to do something for him like that like they're gonna actually you, you your enemy is not gonna save you from the enemy because he's the enemy mm -hmm. i people actually thinking that the enemy is gonna save them they think this man is their friend no, he's the enemy, man. Right. The Lord knows saying it's going to save us from our enemies, not our friends. Your fr your enemies are the ones that's um, oppressing the hell out of you right about now. Your enemy is the one that's lying to you, fake-ass policies, so forth and so on. Then you got ninjas for Trump now. No, no, I thought you trusted in Biden. You said Biden was the dude, right? Right. Then Biden, but which, which it ain't even really Biden, you know what I'm saying? He's just yeah, the yeah. face of it all. Yeah, Bernie. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Weekend a fucking weekend at Bernie, yeah. though dead, man. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like you going to a funeral and the dude laying in the casket, but that's who you put your trust in. You trust you trust in the motherfucker that's laying in the casket, yo. I need to do a video of that dude yeah, laying in the man. casket, dead to sell. Trusting in a dead man, yo. Hey, you remember he's on that podium and he asked about uh, one of the reporters and the reporter had died like two years ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? This man can't even remember his own name. <laughs> Trusting in a dude, you know what I'm saying? They don't know if he used the bathroom or not. <laughs> he just got finished using the bathroom five seconds later. Did I use the bathroom? <laughs> you, I don't know. You went in the bathroom. I don't know if you used it or not. <laughs> but you did go in the bathroom. What's up? Um, I'm Joe Biden's wife. You know what I'm saying? Right. No, man. You're Joe Biden, man. Right. You're sleepy <laughs> Joe, man. So, so we're calling upon the name of Yahweh through his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai, to be saved and delivered from our enemies, man. This is not our rest, Israel. Trust in the Lord. You got it, bro. 2 Samuel 7 and 10. Moreover, I will, I will appoint a place for my people, Israel. Right, the Lord's going to give us a place for Israel, Jerusalem, uh -huh. the kingdom. Look for Israel, man. You got it. It says, 
and will plant them that they may dwell in the place of their own. Yeah, the Lord's gonna take us back home. Lord willing on that first go around. Starting off with the elect. You got it. It says, and move no more. And we ain't gonna never be taken out of our land ever again. No more 70 ADs. You got it. Neither shall the children of wickedness afflict them anymore. No more Edomites afflicting us, man, ever again. No more sorrow, no more pain. No more affliction. No more having to, having to worry about no our sons and our daughters and our wives, I'm saying, being um, instructed to do something wicked, to keep a damn job, yep. or to keep the house, or the things of that nature. You got it. As before time. Right, so no one will ever afflict us again. These Edomites will never afflict us again once we're set back in our homeland. And that's, that's thus said the Lord, thus said the Bible. You got it, bro. Back around NLT. Yeah, you got it. 2 Samuel 7 and 10 says, And I will provide a homeland for my people, Israel. Because this is not our rest. It says, um, We have no continuous city, but we seek one to come, which is the kingdom. The Lord said he's going to um, create a place for his people, man. You got it. Planting them in a secure place where they will never be disturbed. Damn. Evil nations won't oppress them as they've done in the past. Damn. All these nations, man. He saw it all, all the way down, like the brother said, he lit the crumbs up. Right. All these nations, they never going to uh, uh, mess with us again. Right. Us again. And they're going to be under uh, the rulers, our rulership. That's right. In order. The Lord is setting the earth back in order again. That's what's going on. The, one, the, the, the Lord that promised us the kingdom, he's coming through on that promise. That's right. And, and ninjas are still voting. Come on, man. This, this story right here, um... You, you better off believing in this story than no saying Sleazy E story. Know, right? This story right here makes sense. It makes perfect sense. A power, you know what I'm saying, telling us that he's going to create a place for us to where no nation will ever mess with us again. This story sounds better to my ears. You know what I'm saying? Than, than Sleazy E story. Any yeah, one of y'all can close this out. Hey, Lord, willing to edify before we close out, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone for teaching us 100% truth according to the Bible. And Shalom to all you Akim and you Aqua, those that all collect. Shalom. Shalom. DTA, Baba Ball, soon and very soon. Shalom.